So far in this course, whenever we have written some TypeScript code, we have written all code in a single file. And when that file gets compiled, it generates a JavaScript file with the compiled TypeScript code to JavaScript. Now, we have not created any big application using TypeScript in this course. We created this simple expense tracker application, which was very simple and it had very few functionalities. And if I scroll down, you will see that in this file, we have total 99 lines of code. So this is a very simple application, very small application with a very little code. However, when working in a real world project, your application will have a lot of functionality and hence a lot of code. If you are writing your code in a single file, that file will have hundreds of thousands of lines of code. Now, when the project grows with a lot and lot of functionality, managing the code becomes a lot more difficult. It also makes the single TypeScript file very heavy and unreadable. And it has other disadvantages as well. So when your application is going to have a lot of functionality, organizing your code becomes much more crucial. You need to split your code in multiple files for better maintainability and readability. In simple words, for developing a large complex application, you would want to write modular code. This simply means that you will split and write your code in multiple files so that each file on its own stays manageable and maintainable. So instead of writing code in a single app.ts file, you can split that app.ts file into multiple files. And then you simply import and export functions, classes, interfaces, etc. from one file to another file to use those functions classes in the other file. And you also need to make sure that all these files are connected by TypeScript or browser or some third party build tool so that each functionality of each file can be used in other files. Now, in this section, we are going to look at two ways of organizing the TypeScript code in multiple files and use them. And we are going to have a detailed look on these two options. But practically, we can organize our TypeScript code in multiple files using three ways. The first way is not recommended and that is by manually importing JavaScript files. So what we can do is we can write our TypeScript code in multiple files and we know that when we will compile the TypeScript code, all the TypeScript files in the source directory will be compiled and for each of them, a JavaScript file will be generated in the destination directory. Right, we have already seen this before. Then what we can do is we can manually import the compiled JavaScript files into HTML. That means in the HTML, we will have multiple script tags pointing to different generated JavaScript files. So this is also an option. And for some smaller projects, this might be an option. But you will have to manage all these imports manually in your HTML file, which can be cumbersome and also error prone. And you also need to make sure that you import them in the HTML file in the correct order. And that's why it is not really a great option. And we are also not going to use this approach. Now, the first feasible approach for organizing your TypeScript code is to use namespaces. A namespace allows you to organize your code in multiple files. So you create a new TypeScript file where you will add a namespace. In that namespace, you can define related classes, interfaces, and functions, etc. And when you want to use those functions, classes, etc. in other TypeScript file, then you can import these namespaces in those files. And we will see this in practice if this is not entirely clear. Now, when we will compile the TypeScript code, the output JavaScript files generated from compiling the TypeScript files are also bundled together in one single file. So here we will have multiple TypeScript files, but when we will compile it, it will generate a single JavaScript file, which will contain all the compiled TypeScript code. Here we will not have multiple files. Remember this point. We will have a single JavaScript file, which will contain all the TypeScript files compiled code. And this will allow us to import a single JavaScript file in the HTML with a single script tag pointing to that bundled JavaScript file. So you will not have to manage multiple imports in the HTML file. So in the HTML file, we will have a single script tag, which will point to that single generated JavaScript file. Here I'm calling it as bundle.js, but the name can be anything. But this bundle.js file, it is going to store all the TypeScript files compiled code. Okay. Now, 
An alternative to namespaces, which is more modern and better approach, is to use ES6 modules. This is not a TypeScript feature. Modern JavaScript allows us to import and export JavaScript code from one file to another file. So we can also write import and export statements in JavaScript. And that's why it is also possible in TypeScript. And then modern browsers will internally understand which JS file depends on which other file and it will download all the dependent files and use them. So in this approach also, you compile all the TypeScript files to JavaScript. So when all the TypeScript files will be compiled for each TypeScript file, a JavaScript file will be generated in the destination. Okay, but here we don't need to import all the JavaScript files in the HTML. We just need to import one single main JavaScript file in the HTML. For example, app.js will be our main file inside which we will import other files. Okay, so although in the destination there will be multiple files which will be generated by compiling multiple TypeScript files, but we don't need to import them all. We don't need to link them all in our HTML. We just need to link the main file where we are importing the code from other files. And then modern browsers already understand the other JavaScript file dependencies. That means when a code from some other dependent JavaScript file is required to execute, modern browser will know from where to fetch them. And this also we will understand practically. Now, one important point to remember here is that in this approach, we will have multiple output JavaScript files and we don't need to manage the import of all the files, but we still have some disadvantages because of that. Because every JavaScript file on which our main script file depends on has to be downloaded separately, which means there will be more HTTP requests and responses which can impact the performance. And therefore, you can bundle all these JavaScript files into a single bundle file which will contain JavaScript code from all the files. But for bundling, you will need a third party tool, for example, Webpack. And we will learn about that also in great detail in this course. But in this section, we will not worry about that. Okay, so there are two main approaches using which we can organize our TypeScript code. One by using namespace, which is a TypeScript feature and it is not available in JavaScript and one by using ES6 modules, which is also available in modern JavaScript and hence we can also use it in TypeScript. So in this section, we will learn about namespace approach as well as ES6 module approach for organizing our code. And let's start with namespaces in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.